Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise, and today we are going to be doing some planning with the brand new 2025 Kel of a Plan planners that release on Friday, August 30th at 10 a.m. Central. I have a vertical and a dashboard here. Each of Heather's planners this, this year, this season, come in both a dashboard and a vertical, and you get to choose which layout you want. There is a third planner um, design that I don't have. So definitely make sure to check out the website. And I also have like a full unboxing from earlier in the week um, for you to look at as well, where I put a picture of that planner. I'll try to put it here as well too. Now there are coordinating sticker books with each of the planners in addition to a dashboard basics. We are going to start with the seasonal, which is uh, which I selected in vertical. Again, you can choose between the dashboard and the vertical for each of these, but I thought it would be fun to kick off with a New Year's themed spread because the first stickers in here are New Year's themed. So we are going to, let's see, let me make sure that I have like all of my tools. I feel like sometimes I sit down to film a video and I don't have all of my tools. Now I want to make sure that I do a happy new year video or sticker right over here. So I'm going to use my white pen. Hopefully this works. Um, and I will of course have all of this linked in the description of the video. So if you are shopping, I do appreciate you using my link. I've mentioned this before, but I know that I always get comments about it. There are not discount codes for Calava Plan. Calava Plan has not raised their prices. And um, it's just a link that if you're shopping and would like to support me using my link is really helpful. Okay, so we have our little Happy New Year. And then now we have two pages of these, so there's definitely like a lot of opportunities for decor. I think that I'm going to start, it's going to be such, let's see. Well, I'm trying to already think about what the week will look like. <laughs> I don't need to do that. It's several months away. Instead, we're just going to plan <laughs> and not, I was like, it's going to be a weird week because I'm not going to be working until the second and I'm just trying to like get into my crazy pre-planning mode. Maybe not crazy because if you're watching a planner video and you are you were planning for this week, you'd probably try to think about what this week would look like for you as well. So hopefully it is not just me. And now we're going to take one of these pretty little beverage carts and this is going to go right here. So I want to cover up this line as well. And I think we'll need to cover up a tiny bit higher on this too, but I want this to sit like right here and then I'll be able to see what else needs to be covered. I say needs to be covered because that's my style. It's not something you have to do. Of course, you can always put these on like paper, sticker paper, if you um, don't want to deal with the covering up of the lines. I like this quote, we all get the same 365 days. The only difference is what we do with them. And I think that that's just a good reminder right here. And we'll kind of press this down a little bit with the back of my tweezer so that it's really visible. Okay, now let's add in some functionality. So Monday, we can put a little heading over here and let's do some bullet points. I think that I want to cut the bullet points for two reasons. Number one, they'll become a little bit um, more narrow, but they'll also, we'll also get double use out of them. So I'm going to put this back down and we are going to try to do this somewhat evenly. Whoops. Yeah, I knew that was going to be tough. Okay. I'll have to deal with that one with the scissor. Pull that up. 
once I pulled it up, it kind of made it more difficult. Anytime I try to do this with a ruler, it really doesn't work. So I feel like having a full visual on these. Oh, <laughs> again. Oops, I did it again. Gives me a better opportunity to have these more even. Sorry, I started that sentence and didn't finish it. Okay, so holding off on the ones that I sliced. Now, these do become tinier and a little bit more delicate when you do that, but I just like the look of it. And again, you get twice as many bullet points here. So we're gonna go with three. Or maybe, maybe we'll go with four. Oops, I lost it. There we go. Okay, I'll put this bullet point back on the page and we'll cut it if I end up needing it. Now let's take another fun sticker over here. So we can use one, two, three, four. I'm like counting my boxes here. I feel like we can use another box sticker down here. I could even write payday in this because it is my payday and add a little dessert plate. Let's see if I have enough room for that. I probably need to cut a little bit of the bottom because, or this actually, we can move this sticker lower on the page. All right, so there's a test of pulling a sticker up. That pulled up quite easily. Hopefully that went as low down as I needed it to. Yeah, that's good. All right, very cute. Now let's add in a checklist sticker because I love a checklist sticker and we'll put this one right over here. And then we can take maybe this gold box and instead of going vertically, I think that I wanna go sideways with this and add in something else. So I'm going to kind of put this like right over here. I'm so excited to, for New Year's. <laughs> Like, this is making me excited. Last year, I spent pretty much all of New Year's Eve cooking because I had friends over. And now, hopefully, I'll be bringing in the New Year with um, with James and with my boyfriend. So we'll see what those plans end up being. But it's exciting to kind of think about what that may look like. Um, I'd like to take what the New Year brings to you depends a great deal on what you bring to the new year. I don't know that I really want to do like a full checklist over here. So we're going to do just like a partial because, you know, it's New Year's Eve. It's a day for napping. <laughs> Let's do a blue box, blue heading. And we can do maybe just two bullet points. Let's do a black and we can do a pink. We'll go a little bit, a little bit lighter on that. And this is where I can write my New Year's Eve plans because I don't really need its own box like for the first. Now for Thursday, so deciding where I want to put checklists, I think that we're going to do a black checklist and I'm going to put it here, I think because I would like to do another full box here on the second, because that will be the day that I will be back to work after my company is closed between Christmas and New Year's. And I'm sure that there's going to be a lot to put down. Okay, and then over here, we can maybe do something else fun. We already have the beverage cart, so I think it could be cute just to include these stars as something decorative. You don't really need that much function. And then let's take these smaller little stars here. All right, we have four days completed. Shifting over to Friday, I want to do another setup like this where I did the heading box, but I think we're going to put it down here. 
So this time let's use pink as the heading box. And we're going to put bullets down here. So I have room over here for a regular box. So let's do black one. Actually, I think that I'm gonna cut this box to be shorter or I could shift this over. I don't know how easy it's going to be to shift over a clear sticker. Those usually are harder to move than paper stickers. But we're gonna see. Just gonna be careful with it. I feel like I can hear a little bit of ripping happening. But sometimes when you just kind of go from all corners, like all edges of the sticker, you're able to avoid that. It's just the middle. There we go. That really wasn't bad for a clear sticker that I put down a while ago. That was pretty good. If we move this over, we will have room for both. Okay, we have this tiny little line here because of what I had covered up. So what I like to do for something like that is take the point one line and just kind of draw over it. Now we can put this box right in the middle like I wanted it. And then it kind of matches what we did on Tuesday and Wednesday, but I'm going to cover up this line right here. Okay, and then let's add in something fun down at the bottom. So maybe we do another dessert tray right here. And we'll cover this. Okay, next up, let's take a blue checklist sticker. That's gonna go over here. And we need the bullet points. So let's do, oh, over here I did the same. Okay, we have to fix this. I didn't realize that I used the same color. So we need another black. Wednesday. And then here, let's do maybe we'll do blue. I know that we have the blue checklist up there, but I don't want to do pink because this is pink. I don't want to do yellow because this is yellow. And well, we have, and we already have black over there. So we're doing blue. Pull this here. I sliced a little bit too deep here so it sliced into the sticker page and makes it a little bit harder to like bend up the page to pull the sticker off. All right now we have space up top for Friday. Let's decide what we are going to do with it. Um, I wouldn't mind bringing in another like smaller box so I think that we'll take this yellow one here, kind of shift that over so it's not sitting right on top of that checklist. And we can take some Happy New Year cupcake and kind of layer it right over that. And then some of the stars that we brought in on the left side of the page. Cute. Okay, there is one additional quote that we haven't used yet, and that is cheers to a new year and another chance to get it right. Oh, I know that we still have so much time. I'm just, I get so excited about New Year's and all the opportunities that it brings. Okay, so that is our first spread in a Kell of a Plan vertical using seasonal stickers 2025 planner set. Now from the Brilliant Blooms Planner, I have a dashboard. So the Calva Plan dashboard, you'll recognize the right side because this is the dashboard that I've been using for the last few months. But the left side is this really fun plain dot grid that 
you can do anything with. So I have the sticker book. Now this sticker book has boxes that are sized for a vertical. However, there is a Dashboard Basics 2025 Planner Edition with all of the stickers that you need for a dashboard planner. So we are going to kind of combine these two. Um, I am going to kind of set this up as though I'm using it because this is the planner that I plan to use next year and I don't want to lose a page. Although it is possible, I have to, I'd have to look, but it is possible that the current Kell of a Plan dashboard that I have, let's see, has these weeks in it too. We're just going to take a quick peek. They do, right? Because when you have a week that goes between two years, you're going to have it in both pages. So we'll, uh, we'll see how I decide to use this. I feel like I typically decorate a dashboard in a certain way because it's like my comfort zone. So we're gonna put a really pretty floral over here. And then I think that I want to take another floral and use it here, going across this top area. Perfect. Now, in the, on this page, of course, there's a little bit of a gap. When you're using this in um, a vertical, you won't have that, but it's just something that, you know, is there. I don't want to like ignore it. The way to fix it is to add another like bouquet floral kind of on the side. Shift this over if you want it to cover up um, that entire space. Now let's continue and take a side cut floral. Oops. Over this last year since Calibre Plan came out with a dashboard for 2024, I've seen so many really, really cool ways of using this style planner. I've seen people use it for memory keeping, for reading tracking, for health and fitness, for home planning. There are a lot of really fun ways that you can use this. Um, besides the way that I use it, and I know a lot of content creators use it, which is for content creation. I know that it makes the community sometimes frustrated when we are all using it for <laughs> the same reason, and you want other ideas on how to use this that's not um, when you don't have, you know, a YouTube channel or something like that. I want to lift up this last sticker because I actually want to layer it with this double box but we have to lift up a bit to do that. Let's bend that over so that I have the space here. I think I'm putting this down crooked a little bit. And then we have the floral over it. Okay, that looks pretty. Now I wanna pause on, well, part of me is like, I wanna pause on this sticker book, but then there's other things that I'm realizing that I can use over here. So let's pause and look at Dashboard Basics and talk about some ways that you can use Dashboard Basics for the left side. So of course there's a lot of colors here. I think that one thing that would be fun is to take this because I'm not doing anything for Plant With Elise on New Year's Day. So I know that this dashboard sticker can go right over here. And then we have the left side. So I want to pull in some of these like teal colors. It's kind of tealish blue. I like this long box as a list of everything to do during the week. Let's shift this here. And with this dot section, you can kind of line things up really nicely. And then I wonder, let's take a look at a checklist. We can put one of these checklist stickers since we have that color right here. These um, 
bullets line up perfectly with the dashboard. So it's really nice to see that. I know that's something that um, everyone has been looking for. And then I want to grab a pink heading box. And we're going to put this right over here. This could also be really good for like a running grocery list for the week. That's definitely a nice use for it. And then I want to get a long pink checklist. You could also put these checklists whoops, in the box. So let me show you. This is a long checklist sticker. I don't want it to like curl up on itself again. Okay, and then we're gonna take our knife and, oops, trim, come on. Trim it here. Then let's take, I know I put this down a little bit, a little bit crooked. Try to fix that, okay. Now I want a long pink box. We can do maybe this lighter pink or we can do the darker one. Actually, let's go for smaller. I don't know that I need another massive box. We can put this one here. And then we can also do, I'm looking for another kind of teal color, although we also have some other colors here. This isn't quite the right color. You know what, let's go back to the sticker book because the Brilliant Bloom sticker book does have coordinating stickers. And on this side, it doesn't really matter what planner size or what planner layout they're sized for because they coordinate with the stickers. So over here, we're gonna bring in kind of this green that we have and we'll put this as a heading and then take these bullet points. I have to fix this. Let's fix this right there. Okay, we can take these bullet points and add them here. So you can categorize all of your to-dos and everything that you need to put in your planner because you have so much open space right here. You can use it for journaling. You can use it for, like I said, budgeting, for faith. There's so many opportunities or so many options because there's so much space here. And then I think it would be fun to add in a couple of other pops of color here. So we're going to bring in another box right Oops, here because I like that orange. And let's put one over here on Saturday as well. I feel like that went a little bit too over. I don't think that's gonna work there. Let's pull it up. That pulled up pretty nicely. Instead, we can put it over here. And you could put like a positive quote here or something. They don't all have to be super functional in that way. And then let's take another strip of stickers because we have them. And I'm going to slice this just so that it has a flat edge. And put that there to help fill up some of that space. And there's a dashboard layout. It's really simple. The Brilliant Bloom sticker book is really good for it in addition to the dashboard basics. Of course, if you buy the seasonal stickers planner, but dashboard, these are the stickers that you'll get. So of course the decorative stickers are going to, whoops, are going to work as well for this. And those are the two spreads using the new Calava Plan planners and sticker books. Again, there is a third that will be, or a fourth sticker book and a third planner and a fourth planner because it's dashboard and vertical um, that will be available as well. So I'll have all of this linked in the description of the video. If you click my link, as long as you don't click another 
person's link before you purchase, I will still get credit for your order due to the cookies that have been set up, which kind of tracks um, what links you are clicking. So hopefully you enjoyed. I hope everyone picks up their new favorite planner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.